Welcome to Best Graphics. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. Ignition module, EIS, uh, for 2000, from 1999 to 2005 S class. Uh, the customer brought this car, uh, this ignition switch, to generate a key for it. Uh, he took it out, but it looked like uh, somebody was working on it before. If you see the sign here, so he need to. He say this guy. He come. He say he cannot do it. I have to be sure that at least nothing get messed up in this. So let me. I'm trying to open it first. To open this is very simple, and there is two way of uh, how you get a key for this one. Take the information to the dealer, and the dealer will bring you the key ready to go you just put it in and start it but the dealer now they say that they need to see the car they need the service they need to service it no more selling keys so most of the dealer now our problem here is there is two way to re read the information write it to another module or create a key the first one is to open this and to solder wires using this using this module solder the wire directly here and read the information or use click and go this one here you take the circuit board and put it here and you read the information and write it into the key you will get all the key numbers and uh, you will write it into it this is one of the way that you can take if you to take the, the, the rear cover out, it's very simple. This way, I already know that somebody opened it. Right. Okay, take your time. Don't let this go in. This side too. Get something to go inside. Easy. Don't don't get something go more than that. Okay. Get something a little bit heavy. Supposed to go easy. Yes, that's it. Now you notice here, I'm gonna open this one to have more information about it this job is take like 10 minutes or 20 minutes to finish it if you have okay this is a module that you you need to read it but if you notice here as i look at it it look like somebody disorder this one and solder it again and it look like he mess up some stuff here you see here, this is a solder, it's accumulating here and join two pins together, which means it's short out the whole circuit. So our problem here now is that this one is not gonna work. I'm not sure if this the whole piece is messed up or not. What needs to be done is this have to come out. For me, when I have this, I only put this one here. I click it and I will be able to read the information. They call it click and go. You don't need to solder anything. Very safe, very accurate. And then you take the information you write it with. But now, the way I see it here, this one here, now, I have to, 
to, to stop. Look at it by microscope. If you see here, like, you know, look at this, how clean it is. See? The circuit board is so good. But this, the other one here, mm -mm, you see? So the first thing have to be done is to have to be cleaned correctly and adjust it and align it. Right now I see some link are moving away from the others. You see? See this one here? Some line are good, but you see even they move. You see the pins, they are not exactly in the same place. This one here, it look okay. This one here is like they all in not in the shape, you know, like they, they are so this this job I believe either we have to get another one. We may try this, it may work, it may not work, but we already see that they are seeing that it's no good here. If you are not a professional on soldering and desoldering, and by the way, this one needs a heat, a heat gun. Like something here. Uh, okay, I gotta show you. You need something like this soldering station. You see this soldering station like this, and you need to heat it up by a heat gun like this, by air, hot air, and then you will be able to remove that circuit board, clean it, everything, make it good, and then put it back.